Logan Martin plays host to the first stop of the Alabama Bass Trail South Division, presented by Phoenix Boats. Robbie Floyd alongside Kay Donaldson. Well, we got the cold weather we saw in the north. Not quite as cold, but we're still going to have some cold weather, but also some moving water today. You know, every year, the first part of February is awesome. We have 70-degree temperatures, and then tournament season hits, and we go down about 30 degrees. So um, Mother Nature always throws us a curveball, but what we found out, at the last stop, someone's always going to catch them. Yeah, 20 pounds there at Neely Henry. Now at Logan Martin, different story, but same Coosa River. Um, we're going to be seeing some moving water. That typically means spotted bass. That's what the Coosa is known for. Is it going to be one today with spots or the largemouth? I think you're going to have to have a largemouth. And, you know, we've experienced quite a bit of rain over the last 7 to 10 days. But Alabama Power is committed to keeping the water low so that uh, when we get those rains later in the year, they're not pulling the water out during the spawn. So I'm happy with that. Uh, I think that they are going to have to have largemouth in their bag to take home this $10,000 check today. A talented field in the south as well as the north. One way or another, they're going to find ways to catch them. Now let's go out on the water and see our Academy Sports and Outdoors first cast of the day. Well, here we are on beautiful Logan Martin Lake for stop number one of the Alabama Bass Trail South Division. We are ready to get to some action on the water today. It is a late February morning, a little cool this morning, a lot of wind on the water, but we're going to have a great day. We're going to see a lot of fish catches today. I bet we see a whole lot of limits. Let's get to the action. One of the things here at Logan Martin is how many people would run all the way to the north at the Neely Henry Dam. That's where the spotted bass are supposed to be. This is the Coosa River. It's spotted bass territory. Well, the answer is zero. Nobody is up here early this morning, and the reason is look at the dam. All five gates are open. It is flowing. It is the water is just really moving. And if you're going to catch ba uh, bass here, spotted bass, large bass, makes no difference. You're going to have to get out of this current because it is really too strong. You're going to have to get on the outside, maybe go around where the lock is. There's an island here. The fish did not leave. They're still here, but the anglers, they don't want to fight to get them. I've got Stan Hallman and Steve Thrash. Um, we've been pulled up to these guys for about 10 minutes and they caught a fish, um, they missed a fish, and they broke off on a fish during the time that we've been here. So they've got a pretty good little spot going on here. Um, they have a small limit. Will you tell me a little bit about why this particular spot, this particular area? There's a flat out here with some rock on it. Okay. And they're up in it, they're moving up. Um, we're just having to wait on bikes. They're not gotcha. feeding the whole time, we're having to wait on bikes. I don't know if you can tell, but these guys are just fishing just inside a little current break right here. So the seam's coming down right beside this bridge. And as it comes down beside this bridge, kind of has some slack water over here to the left-hand side. So they're throwing up into the slack water where fish are probably sitting and the bait fish is coming down beside the slack, down beside in the current. So as fish don't have to work really hard, spotted bass don't mind hanging out in the current. Um, if they don't have to work so hard, they can sit back off just the edge of the current. They call it eddy breaks or slack water or, you know, whatever can break that current for them. They can sit right on the back side of it. As they sit on the back side of it, the bait come by and just hit it. And you see guys are throwing moving baits here. So imitating that, that bait fish, got a crawl color pattern, crank bait on. They caught that fish up in the slack and they got another bite up in there as well. So. A lot of times you'll fish along the bank right here and spotted bass will school up. And as they school up, you can catch a, a group of them once you find they're there. Hey Jason, I've got boat 158. We've got Jeff Ritchie and Matt Ritchie. Um, they do not have any fish right now, but they're working on their limit. They did just catch a fish. So we're gonna see if this one's gonna go in the live well.
Oh, good luck. <laughs> we need to stick around. Right. Well, it kind of surprised me that nobody was all the way up at the dam, but what about Ohatchee Creek? I mean, that's where the largemouth and the spotted bass mix. It's, it's really not out there in that main river channel. You can get away from everything, get away from that current, even though there is current running through here. But as you can see, just like at the top of the lake, to my left, to my right, nobody. And this area looks perfect. If I were looking for largemouth bass, spotted bass mix, this is the area I'd want to be in. Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Bill Penny Automotive, where it's always Bill Penny time. By Jacks, all about the South, and by Sweet Home Alabama. In 2009, it all started with this 721 Pro XP and the passion to build the best fishing platform in design, performance, and construction for all of our customers. Through the years, motors have changed. Electronics have changed, but the passion to build the best bass boat possible has not changed. Everyone at Phoenix believes we got it right the first time. Bill Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. But that's not the only reason to get to know Bill Petty. Enjoy a 10 year unlimited warranty on every new Toyota in stock. Get one year of 24 7 roadside assistance. Test drive for the chance to win $5,000. You heard right. 5,000 big ones. Plus, choose from over 700 new Toyotas in stock and price to move. Bill Petty Toyota is Alabama's number one volume Toyota dealer. Get to know us today. I tell you right now, if you don't have it, you are behind. It's just wild. It's like a video game. If you do not have that Garmin Livescope, you are definitely missing out. Bassmaster Classic Champion! The splash of your paddle mimics the pelican as it drops down from above. As the calmness of the water washes away any lingering concerns, you listen to the tall grass sing of the surrounding beauty and how the best views only get better when they're shared. This is Alabama. And when you're here, you can take it all in. John, Trey, you guys got five fish in the box. What kind of size you got? No size. No size, really? Five, 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 five. So five, six pounds of fish, maybe. <laughs> Y'all caught one just as we pulled up to make it five. That was the biggest one. That's the biggest one. I see a lot of crankbaits. Everything you see is red, too. Yeah, everything's red, <laughs> and everything looks like crankbaits. That's the game plan today. We got them. We got them on mega bass, different colors, but uh, red just seems to call them out. Yeah. Shaky head, too. Is it shaky head, too? They're, they're really, you know, starting to move up. Uh, they're doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing, but we don't know this lake that well. Yeah. And, you know, somebody's gonna smash them. Yeah, somebody's gonna smash them. Somebody's gonna know smash that. them yeah. today. Caught up to about 173, Daniel Fogel, Chris Pearson. 
three fish of the boat, but hey, the one thing I love about the three fish of the boat, you got one four pounder, so you're around some good ones, but you needed more four pounders. So has it been few and far between? Have you lost any? What's your day been like? So far, the day's been pretty good. Started off, had three fish in the boat by 7.30, 7.45. Slowed down a little bit, moved around some. And just like you say, we're trying to get a couple more of them four pounders put in here. Right now you're uh, fishing main lake, but it looks like you're casting almost up to the bank, bringing it back with cranking both times? We are, most of the time. Yeah, so the fish have been moved up fairly shallow. What's, are you looking for, waiting for them to turn on, warmer in the day? I mean, what's... Yeah, that's kind of the goal. We're watching them out here on the ledge, and we've been busting that ledge. We're seeing if we can get anything to bite up on the flat. Now. Yeah, see if they're moving up. Yeah. Tell me, guys, what is it about this particular spot that you're so drawn to? This is a point the wind was blowing into it, so right. it's kind of... Gotcha. And then all that structure, like. Okay. All right. Check this one out. Oh, that is a good one. Nice. Amazing. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Sweet. What do you catch that one on? Side. That crankbait right there? What kind of crankbait is that? What brand? Berkeley, uh, side. Berkeley Fritz side. Gotcha. That's got that tight wobble. I noticed that's what a lot of people do this time of year, especially in these weather conditions. Second one. We've got two good ones. About two pounder, so I got most of the pan. What's been the key color for you? Because you know, most people throw like red and you've got the chartreuse going on. Why is that? We fished, we fished two weekends and we fished last weekend, both times. Every fish we caught was on that red side yellow with that chartreuse. Gotcha. Okay. Scott, tell us what's going on down here, guys. How many y'all got? Believe it or not, we got a limit. You got a limit? Yeah. How much you got in that bag then? I figure about. Seven, eight pounds. Seven, eight pounds? Maybe. Might be more than that. You don't never know. Yep. I see we got a long, what, riverbed maybe? Yeah, a little point running out. Yep. Yep. Did you catch them all right here or y'all jump around? Bounce around a few places. Yep. Yep. One or two here, one or two there. Yep. Yep. But, uh, I see a shaky head. What you got? Same thing? Just, uh, just dang your Dinger? Yep. Yeah. Drag across bottom. This portion of Alabama Bass Trail TV presented by Phoenix Boats is sponsored by Garmin, by Academy Sports and Outdoor, and by America's First Credit Union. There's more right after this. Buying stale burnt coffee is like eating hot sushi out of a vending machine. It's just a no-no. Explosion. Cool guys don't look at them. As a veteran-owned and operated company, we take massive pride in giving back. And with your support, we've donated millions to charitable organizations and veterans. Do you have a lightsaber leg, Jay? Yeah, I got a lightsaber leg. When you sign up for our coffee club, you get fast free shipping directly to your door. I'm on a helicopter. The taste of the South starts out here. However you roll into work, you can bring the flavor with Jack's Breakfast Catering. Huge scratch-made buttermilk biscuits and hearty breakfast sandwiches, mixed or matched, starting at just $15. Don't forget to add delicious fresh ground Royal Cup coffee and classic breakfast sides because great work starts with great breakfast. Breakfast catering starting at $15 from Jack's. All about the South. Cody is telling us a story about 
you're growing up in this area and fishing right here, your home school. I mean, this was this is literally your home water. That's right. And here you are fishing the Alabama Bass Trail many, many, many years later. 20, 21 years later. 21 years later and still coming to the same spot. It's got to be something here. Oh, yeah, I've caught numerous five plus pounders around here. So just waiting for one of them to come up. I bet you know every rock on this. Oh, yeah. On this one. From fishing from the bank, walking back and forth, walking back and forth growing up. And That's right. Did you ever think you'd be this doing this? No. I always dreamed about yeah. it. Yeah. Living out a dream right now. For real, you literally are. Okay, so we've got boat number 14, Buck McDonald and Larry McDonald. What are you guys doing today? How are y'all doing? Just out here on the end of this point, I'm throwing a shaky head and he's got a jig and just sitting out here for like two and a half hours. Is this what you did in practice? Yeah, we found the spot in practice. There was a ton of fish here, but just not a real big fish. So we figured we're going to come here first and get a limit and then you know, run around like everybody else. But right. coming down, we had motor problems, so we're like, going to sit here a little longer and just see if maybe we get a big fish or something before we see what happens with the rest of it. So. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've gotten about all of those out of here we want to get. But we have pulled up on Joshua Gentry and Jeffrey Gentry, and they've got one fish. They're hoping we bring some luck. Guys, I I saw Chris's favorite bait back there for a minute, like the old ball and chain was being drug around for a minute. A little Carolina rigging? Oh, yeah. Yeah? I don't think we get a bite on Yeah? Yeah. Slow go, huh? Slow, yeah. Tell us what's going on down here. I, I kind of know what's going on here, but tell us what the TV crew, what's going on right here. In this hop, we just have to get a little walk we can find. We're trying to hit it. Yep. Looks like we can find a good size rock. A lot of old rocks down here, a lot of old house foundations down here, and it it probably looks really good on that down scan right there. You know, it makes you really want to make something happen pretty quick. I got one on now. Yeah. We're lucking them, lucking them up over here. Got a good one on. Got a good one on. Hey, uh, remember that luck I was telling you about? Thank you. There you go. Ain't much, but it helps. That's right. All right, it's been one of those mornings where I thought we would see a lot of guys catching fish early. And that's what happens here at Logan Martin is guys go out early and really try to get a limit quick. And then they make that transition and head to the backs of pockets or head down some shallow banks and really try to find those largemouth. We have seen teams out early this morning that had a limit really quick right off the bat. And that puts them ahead of the game because then they've got the rest of the day to go largemouth, largemouth fishing. We're going to see lots and lots of limits come in this afternoon, but the one that's going to pull them out is those guys that have that bigger largemouth bag. Alabama Bass Trail TV, presented by Phoenix Boats, is brought to you by Black Rifle Coffee Company, by TH Marine, from transom to trolling motor, and by Mountain Dew. There's more to come. The TH Marine HydroWave H2 KVD Edition is a surefire way to ignite a feeding frenzy. The HydroWave utilizes a sound emitting technology that imitates bait fish and other feeding fish below the surface that preys on the competitive nature of bass and other game fish to get you more bites. The HydroWave is another way that TH Marine has you covered from transom to trolling motor. Research and development is more than just time in the shop for us. It's time out here. Sweating the details. Making boats that work as well in the real world as they do on paper. From our R&D team to our anglers on the water, we have the knowledge and passion to build you the finest fishing platform in the world.
some things ain't worth keeping. Yesterday's traditions, today's adventures, tomorrow's memories. Now that's something worth keeping. Fish Alabama and find your keeper. For more information, visit fishalabama.org. you love to play. Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to get what you need and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. Fish. All right, here we are with Larry Bullock and Dale Westmoreland. You guys got 1440 with a big fish of 437. What'd you catch a big fish on? Frank bait. Ned rig. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. oh. oh <laughs> Keeping a secret from each other, I guess. Is that what we're doing? Five bass, four, 1306. Good enough to put them into second for Coleman and Thompson. Great job. Grab that big. Let's see if it's 437 or bigger. About a tenth of a pound different, 448. We've got a new leader. Good job. We uh we actually struggled this morning. We pulled up our first uh what three points was nothing. Except the wind blowing 90 miles an hour on it. Then uh we just kept going down river, going down river, going down river, and Steve knows some places and uh we we finally figured out we got a did we get four? I think we got four off four of the next point one, and yeah. the big one was on there, was with them spots. And then yeah. this afternoon they, they decided to go shallow again this afternoon, so and we and Steve caught another good spot on the way in. <laughs> we yeah, had about that, that really helped that us. Yeah. We had about five minutes to go. Yeah. Want to go. <laughs> 1683 for Big E and Ben Williamson. Go grab a couple of those. Find that big one first. And 1638 with a 538 kicker. All right, Ben, did you catch it? No, I did. It's all right. Now I'm gonna get the truth. What'd you catch it on? It was on chatterbait. We got lucky. Uh, I was running to a dock trying to get a big bite, and someone was sitting on it, so we stopped a little short and uh, just threw up on a flat, wind blown, and uh, second cast on it, and caught it with five minutes left to spare. Five fish. This is a good bag here. This might be a winning bag. They are going to take the lead. Ryan Parks and Brian West, 17-21, a 17-pound bag. Boom. Man, he took over the lead right now. How's that feel on the first event of the Alabama Bass Trail? Uh, it feels great. Glad to uh, get the ball rolling on the first tournament. Going out this morning, what were you guys expecting to be able to do? Uh, hunt some current, try to throw some jerk baits, uh, some swim baits. Jeffrey Haskins, Mike Chambers, they got a big fish in there. Let's find out what all five of them will weigh first. Do they have something that's going to be 17, 21? Get on over here, guys. Hey, get over here. Quit you. Get over here. Quit eyeballing it. Get over here. What are they going to weigh? Give me a guess. Give me a guess. Don't look. 15. Let's, that means 16. There means 14. 15 is going to turn into 14. 14, 22. You're in the top 10. Good job. Do we have a 538? Yes, we do. We almost have a 638. 635. We jumped it up a pound. Good job, brother. Uh, we're using a uh, Berkeley Fritz side. That's pretty much caught all our fish today. What kind of depth of water were y'all targeting? Uh, we were pretty much uh, fishing six foot and shallow. I mean, uh, the, the Berkeley was going five foot, and so we was just bouncing it off the bottom of the rocks. So we hit that 638 with. It's Rob Lee, Steve Winslet. Come on over here, guys. Somebody had a big fish. Is it this one? Oh, this was it. I saw a why on one of these groups. I knew it couldn't have been you, but I'll be dang. Every dog has his day, right? Yeah, you get lucky every now and then. Every now and then. The more you practice, the luckier you get. We need 1721 to take the lead, and we've done it. 1772. We've got a new leader. 
Been there, done that. That's what Lee and Winslet do. They win again on the Alabama Bass Trail. You put two good sticks together for several years, you're going to see multiple victories. This is one of the most consistent teams that you'll see in the South Division. They've been high in the points. They've gone to the Bassmaster Team Championship. And I can't remember a year they haven't made our championship. So you kind of expect this from them. Um, tickled to death for them, though. Hey, congratulations, guys. Now with one event down, your anglers here, you already qualify for the championship. Is that the goal now? Because you've been doing it. You've been doing it every year. And, and you all been together for five. Right, yeah. The, the championship's a lot. Uh, and, you know, to make the team championship, is really good. I mean, that's that's something that's hard to do, really. They'd have that opportunity to make right. the Bassmaster Classic like one of our own Alabama right. Bass Trail members have done. But also, Absolutely. when you put, say, $260 into an entry fee, you win $10,000. Yeah. That's a pretty good payback. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's the best trail there is in the state. Well, almost 17 and three quarters it took to win this event. It was a cold one, but I mean, we expect it. It's the start of the year, but we've still got plenty more. You can do well at one, but to win that angler of the year, you got to be consistent at five stops on the Alabama Absolutely. Bass Trail. So we're done here at Logan Martin. The next stop on the ABT, we're going back up to the north. Smith Lake, I can't wait. Another spotted bass fishery that is, uh, you know, well known for spotted bass, but I think some largemouth just might play. I think you're right. Spots as well as largemouth are going to be a factor. We'll see you next time at Smith Lake on Valley Sports.